Okay, welcome to lesson 17, part 4. Hopefully you can see just how far you've come since you started these lessons when we were just bringing in data. We're now looking at complete different levels of symbology. And in today's lesson we're going to look at comparing the seasonal distribution of dolphins to the distribution of group sizes. And we're going to put those maps next to each other. So another quite useful map we could create here is that we could look at all of our seasonal data as we had before. So I'll turn that back on. And then if I go to, to project a new print layout, this time we're going to be doing um, season versus group size. And I'm going to add a map just like before. See it stops me again with the grid line at 140, which is really convenient because I've got my half screen map. And I'm going to copy and paste that. It's giving me, because these are A4, it's a bit longer than I'd like, but it's fine for the what we're doing today. And we can add an item here to, so we just added a legend like last time, just very quickly to show that we've got our different seasonal data. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to change that, get rid of these two, just like we did in the last lesson. Okay. Okay, so this time I'm going to lock these two and then I'm going to go to the item properties of map one. I'm just going to go to lock layers and lock styles. But this time what we're going to do is we're going to go to our dolphin file, we're going to go to properties and then in the symbology we're going to change from categorized to graduated and we're going to change to group size in our value. I'm only going to make this very simple, I'm just going to do two classes. So we're going to have dolphins that are one to four in their groups, so groups of, the, of one to four dolphins and groups of four to eight dolphins. And I'm going to change this to size, we're going to have it done by size. Uh, and I think the point value eight will be a bit big. Ah, yeah, that's huge. So we're going to get, bring this down to four and see what that looks like. Even that's possibly a little bit big, so just come down to three. We're only going to have two different sets of values. Okay. And then I'm going to open my pay-per-view back up and I'm going to hit refresh. And this time we can see, I should have locked the legend there. I didn't lock the legend. Um, but this time we can see the map on the right is now showing our bottlenose dolphins by season. So I can just bring this across here. Um, and I can lock this. And then okay, so it's linked to a particular map. So it's linked to map one. So I'm going to go to only show items inside linked map. It's already on the right hand side, so I'm going to link it to map two this time. Okay. And then I'm going to, that's fixed, that's fine. It's fixed in place. Uh, I'm just going to move it very slightly lower actually. Obviously, we're going to change the name of the legend to Bottlenose Dolphin Group Size. Press OK. And this time I'm going to create another map. So, sorry, another legend. Just here. And again, it's going to be for map one. 
and we'll make it so it says only show items for linked maps and we'll get rid of the stuff that we're not interested in okay so we'll sorry first of all I have to go to remove the auto update so I'm going to remove those remove this and then go to change the title to bottlenose dolphins by season okay and I'll add my north arrow just as before And I'll add my scale bar as well. Change this to 10. I've got no idea why it defaults to 7.5. Possibly just the size of the block I'm creating. Okay. And there we have it. We've got two very full maps of information. We can now use this to look at the different group sizes and we can say okay well there was a lot of uh, dolphins seen in, in bar in autumn and summer however the group sizes were generally less than one to four whereas the dolphins which are shown between bar and Olsen um, in spring and winter tended to have much larger group sizes and when we take group sizes into account as well we might say that certain areas are much more important for dolphins if we can only protect certain areas. Again this is something which isn't just going to be used for dolphins, you could use this for anything. Um, this map's not quite as pretty as the last one because of um, a couple of scale issues with having two portrait maps on a piece of paper like this. Um, and you can see we could have tidied up a couple of the label names for some of the more obscure towns. but hopefully it illustrates the point well okay that's it thanks bye